LG Group Chairman Kubon Mu, who led the nation's fourth largest conglomerate, passed away over the weekend at the age of 73. Not only is he remembered for his key role in LG's many successes, he's also known for his human centered management. Lee Seung Jae has more. Kubon Mu died on Sunday after undergoing multiple brain surgeries in recent years. While the nation mourns the loss of one of the pioneers in the nation's electronics industry, Many are remembering the legacy he leaves. Ku, the oldest grandson of LG Group's co-founder Queen Hye, began working in 1975 for the Lockheed Chemical Industrial Corporation, now known as LG Chemicals, and started making cosmetics before expanding into plastics and household products such as toothpaste. Ku Bon Mu would move up the corporate ladder quickly before being named LG Group chairman in 1995. Under Ku's 23-year leadership, the Korean home appliance maker became one of the world's top five phone brands, and its LCD business is now neck and neck with Samsung Electronics. LG Group sales also increased more than five folds to 148 billion U.S. dollars in 2017, from 27 billion dollars in 1994. Under Ku's stewardship, LG's overseas sales also increased tenfold to $102 billion during the same period. Despite helping the company grow into one of the world's biggest electronics giants, Gu is widely remembered for his integrity and human-centered management. In fact, during the Chesunshir power abuse scandal, which saw a number of Korean conglomerates questioned by the prosecution, LG was excluded. And according to a survey released this month by the Korea CSR Research Center, LG Group topped the list among local conglomerates, both for credibility concerning the business itself and the integrity of the owner family. Based on his philosophy, Ku had always been keen on attracting talent and investing in long-term research and development. Ku is also remembered for his treatment of employees, regardless of their backgrounds and educational prestige, creating a fair corporate culture. An example of his beliefs was LG Electronics Vice President Cho Sung Jin, who became the first high school graduate to become a top LG Group executive. With his passing on Sunday, the torch will now be passed to his adopted son, Ku Gwang Mo, who was recently nominated to the board of LG Corporation last Thursday. His funeral will be quiet and simple, just like he was as the chairman, soft spoken and humble. His New Year's address from last year sums up his legacy. Let us earn respect from the people and society. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.